Vanillin is the main flavor component in vanilla, and chemically, it's a useful building block. I plan to use it to make capsaicin and other capsaicinoids. In a previous video, I isolated vanillin from vanilla extract, but I think this method is much more accessible to the average person, and it uses methanol instead of dichloromethane. For this experiment, I used 18 9 gram packets of vanilla sugar and 350 milliliters of methanol. I used Dr. Oetker vanilla sugar, but you can use any kind as long as the only ingredients are artificial flavoring and sugar. 18 packages containing 9 grams each of vanilla sugar were poured into a beaker. To this was added 150 milliliters of methanol. Methanol is used because vanillin solubility methanol is quite good, but the solubility of glucose and other sugars in methanol is quite poor. The vanilla sugar and methanol were mixed thoroughly for several minutes. You should mix thoroughly enough to make sure that all of the sugar has been wetted by the methanol. The free methanol was vacuum filtered, and then the sugar was transferred into the filter funnel. If you gravity filter, it'll be slower, but the filtrate should be clear. If you vacuum filter, the filtrate might be white due to undissolved sugar in suspension. This is fine because we'll carry out a recrystallization later, which will clean this up. Note that if you use gravity filtration, a lot of methanol will be lost and you might need to do more washings. The sugar that was transferred to the filter funnel is then washed with 150 milliliters of methanol. It is then washed one final time using 50 milliliters of methanol. You can likely use smaller volumes of methanol, but it isn't a big problem because we recover it afterwards anyway. At this point, there shouldn't be much vanillin left and you can discard the sugar. A distillation is set up to separate the vanillin and recover the methanol. The methanol is slowly removed, and once it reaches a volume of about 125 milliliters, the flask was changed to a 250 milliliter round bottle. Also, in the end, 325 milliliters of the 350 milliliters of methanol used was recovered, so there was only a loss of about 25 milliliters. Once very little methanol remained, the remaining methanol was removed using a vacuum. Once all the methanol is removed, we are left with our crude vanillin crystals. The vanillin was then recrystallized using water, but it's important to keep the temperature below 80 degrees Celsius. As stated in my previous vanillin video, vanillin melts at 80 degrees Celsius, and if you dissolve it past this point, when the water cools, it will precipitate as an oil instead of a crystal. After recrystallization, we're left with about 1.5 grams of clean vanillin. Again, I took an NMR of the final vanillin product, and it is quite clean.